Hi guys, it's Rob, and uh, this is going to kick off again just Unity specific tutorials. I spent the last, you know, five tutorials going over game design documents, portfolio advice, a Unity and Congregate, and some vocabulary. A lot of game design theory packed in there. I really want to just go back to the, the basics of Unity. Uh, some things that I've been using are the Elementals pack, which can be downloaded directly off of the Unity Asset Store for free, Fung and Fungus. Now, what Fungus is, uh, you download this off of the, fun uh, the Fungus website, uh, and what this basically is, it's a plugin for Unity, a free plugin, that allows you to make virtual novels. Now, I'm going to show you guys a little sneak peek of, of my project, what I've been working on, uh, which I'm actually going to continue for an independent study this upcoming spring semester. And I've used a bunch of placeholder art that I found on the internet, but here's basically what this allows you to do. Right? It allows you to transition, right? It allows you to, to totally, like, just tell the story and to, you know, this is all going to lead into, this is the discussion between the characters. You know, you have your character icon down in the lower left-hand corner. You have your scene. You have your sprites. And this is actually going to lead into a battle. It doesn't lead into it right now. But I just want to, in case you guys are planning on downloading Fungus, yeah, I highly recommend it for any class projects, anything like that. It's just a great way to tell a story and to work in your game. And here's actually how simple, okay, using this is, we'll go to Fungus Script. Okay, now here in Game Started Chapter 1, we have so many things. This basically programs for you in a way, right? I have my Fade Sprite command, my Fade to View, Set Variable, which is just setting a variable. Uh, you know, saying, th these are just the, the dialogue that you guys saw. And I could even make a character say it. If you want, if a lot of you guys plan on using this, you can actually uh, send me an email or uh, or just put, leave in the comments below that, you know, you want to learn about fungus and I'll, I'll make a few more tutorials. This is just an overview right now, but, you know, you could have choices. So you, you do the add options first and then you have like a choice right here and that and that um, in the game, you actually get to choose like different directions your story could go and make multiple endings or multiple choices. And then basically what this is all going to culminate into is there's going to be something here that says load scene. Uh, you know, battle scene or whatever, battle one, and then it's going to jump to this, okay, which it's, it's really easy to make these transitions, and then what it's going to do is there's going to be another character over there with an enemy AI, and I'm going to be fighting them, and, you know, jumping, and shooting, pew, pew, and then, you know, I just, you know, kill the enemy AI, AI or whatever, and then there's going to be some death condition. When one person loses and another person wins, then load, you know, chapter two. Or, uh, yeah, chapter two quicker. You know? Basically, and then we have, you know, we have new friends, old enemies. And now we have chapter one, but then we have scene two. So now if I wanted to play this, now it's like, okay. Boom, that was, that was after the fight, see? Settle down, you know, we need to find out what Yuki Mas has been up to. And then, so, so that, you know, I'm, I'm going to directly load this in after the fight scene, you know, we're, again, very easily done through the beautiful uh, script. Whoever made Fungus, the old, you know, the creator of that or the creators, props to them because they made our lives a whole lot easier. See, transition of views. I want you to meet my friends. This is Hikari and this is Chigo. Introducing characters in. This little mushroom, it comes with Fungus. It's just like a basic placeholder sprite. Of course, this is all going to be replaced with uh, fully original uh, artwork. And, yeah. So I just wanted to show you guys, you know, that just because I feel it'll make you guys' lives a whole lot easier if you use this for your class projects. Uh, you know, the programming aspect, of course, you have to write code on your own. But there are times when you're telling a story that, you know, writing code kind of slows you down. And this, there's nothing wrong with using this to tell a story. Now, you shouldn't use this to program your entire game for you. And you probably can't. I mean, you, maybe if you're a little creative, you can. But I would recommend program for, like, battles and stuff. But when you're just telling a story and you just want a little intermission, use Fungus, you know, take take that, you know, two hours that it's going to take you, and it would have taken you ten hours, take that two hours and just plan out a good dialogue. And uh, with that, I think I'll see you next time. Thanks, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.